Hey cheaters, excited to finally show off Live Agent. You can see there's a notification on the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm going to click the play button and this is now going to execute an agent that's been running constantly in the background and steps in intelligently to suggest automations for me. This is a pre-built uh, agent that I built specifically for responding to Gmails and now it's executing that automation using our semantic targets to find where to click and now it's going to use GPT-4 to detect the email and generate a proper response. This is all pretty cool and exciting in terms of automation, but the novel part about live agents is that I didn't have to go out of my way to trigger this. This was actually running in the background and it's robust enough now that it can actually even detect the difference between spam emails and relevant emails. So based on a probability, if spam gets like a 90% prob probability and relevant email like this gets a 98% probability, and step in intelligently to actually accelerate your business without you having to go out and take steps or your team having to go out and step, take steps. You can create standard operating procedures for things that are very repetitive. For example, if your sales organization is constantly updating leads in your CRM, we can detect when those leads are buyers or changing states and actually go and automate the entire process. That's one of the more exciting live agents that we're working on. And let me just show you how easy it is for you to build your own custom live agents. So using the CheatWare desktop no code editor, you can either build these live agents using the chat interface by asking to build whatever you want, and then that will either translate into the no code graph for you. We're the only service that translates the automation into a no code graph. Or you can start with building just the no code graph directly using our no code tools because it, these are all entirely built in English. There's no code involved in any of these steps. So for example, in the first step, we describe the email text on the screen. We use semantic describe to do that. The next step, we click anywhere into the Gmail to give it focus. Next, we hit the R hotkey to create a reply. We add a small delay so that Gmail has time to open the reply box. And then finally, we generate a reply based on the description that we captured earlier, because we captured the text on the screen from the description here. So now this is gonna use GPT-4 to generate a reply, and we're done. This is all very exciting, and the users have been able to do this for many months, but we now introduce the ability to add live agents. So if you click Deploy Workflow, go to Live Agents, and you set a trigger, and this is how we instruct the agent to step in. And in this case, we want to be as descriptive as possible because like I mentioned, this agent actually is robust enough to detect the difference between spam emails and relevant emails. So I'm going to say uh, Gmail is open with the Gmail logo in the top left corner and an email, a relevant email in the middle of the screen. Next, we select the saved agent that we just created, this Gmail responder agent in the background, after we click, click File Save. And then it'll go to the background, just open the workflow window again, and then click Add Workflow. Now this will be a live agent that's going to be constantly running in the background. And we've optimized Atlas 2, which is an exciting development, a uh, hundred times, which basically allows us to run this entirely free. It doesn't consume any tasks, it doesn't use GPT-4 vision. Uh, because Atlas 2 is now a thousand times less um, costly than GPT-4 vision and a hundred times less costly than, than what we had before. This finally allows us to run live agents. Basically, that breakthrough allowed us to run live agents constantly. You can imagine it's not really useful if it checks your screen every minute or every hour. That's kind of too slow. People actually need to move around through their services every 10 seconds or 5 seconds. So that this agent runs constantly. And you can see that if I run this on a promotional email, it's not going to trigger because I was descriptive enough in my target and my trigger to uh, say relevant emails. If I go back to this email again, which is a relevant email, it's going to trigger again. And there you go. So I'm going to run it. If you click anywhere else in the notification, it'll close the notification. But if you click the play button, it'll actually trigger the agent. We're excited about live agents because we really started working on agents years before the Chat GPT API, our first published solution with Project Atlas in July of 2022. 
So we have actually significant insight on agents that are actually being used in production with businesses and driving significant value, like 18 times better CPM than TikTok ads and double the reply rates of Apollo.io. And we've been very meticulously, religiously paying attention to retention rate and helping our customers actually solve valuable problems in businesses. So you may notice there's been a lot of other agent solutions like AutoGPT and Agent GPT that kind of popped up right after the ChatGPT API. But most people that I've talked to don't actually use those services and it's not really easy to use in their businesses because you have to be kind of technical. We're building the no-code platform for any business to accelerate their team and all their employees into 10x or 100x employees, actually. And so these are just the beginnings, but you can see in our cheat layer desktop dashboard, um, an entire library of actually valuable automations for businesses. And Live Agents takes this a step further because we've noticed, because we've been working on agents longer than everyone else, we have deep in insight on how to actually integrate them into businesses, how to make them generalized, make them more robust. That's why we built Atlas 2. The next step in our roadmap is Live Agents pretty obviously because it helps us remove the friction and interleave human operations with agents. Really exciting stuff. Stay tuned for the next big update, which is Agent Tables, which will be another big breakthrough and leap forward in interleaving human operations and agents because everyone uses Google Sheets. We've now created the ability for you to sync Google Sheets and trigger swarms and agent chaining from new rows automatically. So you can basically integrate uh, human operations and other tools with our cloud, desktop, and browser agents with swarms and agent chaining very easily in an intuitive interface that everyone understands. Really excited about it. Excited to see what you guys build with live agents. Thank you.